Well, this is, uh... Oh, jeez. This is just fucked up. <laughs> I'm just gonna say right now, this is some fucked up shit. I'm sorry, YouTube, if you didn't like those curse words there, but... Guys, this is bad. Hello, everybody. My name is Nico the Legend, and I'm also known as the well-mannered teenager in the Snowflake. And yes, you know this was gonna happen. You know it was gonna come up. You know this was a huge deal for the longest time. Not only because of this game taking years, years to make and years to release, but because of the controversial things that hit us by storm whenever this game had its first gameplay trailer. Okay. What was it, E3 2019 or 2018? I don't even remember. This game's been delayed quite a bit. But who didn't see the review bombing? Who did not see it? Because there was so much discourse for this game that it, I didn't realize it was going to be this bad. Like, there was crazy review bombing for Red Dead Redemption 2 because you guys felt a little extra about the horse taking its time and how the game had a lot of weight to it. And it's like, you know, kind of... You didn't like the prologue because it was kind of slow and stuff. I loved it. I loved all about the game in Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, for the most part. Okay, obviously there's some things a little bit there, but not enough to ruin my experience entirely. But this is on a whole new level. And look, I don't, I'm not going to play this game for a while. I'm not going to buy it. I really didn't care too much about Last of Us Part 1. It just wasn't my game. It's a cool, Nico. Uh, good games are not your thing. I'm like, yeah, okay, to each his own, right? <laughs> Let me play my my Japanese games. <laughs> no, but for real, uh, I played this. I played the first game back when it came out on PS3. Uh, what was it? 2011? Or was it 2012? I can't remember. Um, it was it was long ago. And you know what? I had a fairly decent time. There was some pretty good moments in that game that were very memorable. But at the same time, it, I just didn't really care for it. It was just a simple one play through type of game, and I don't want to spend sixty dollars on on another game that could be like that. But you know what, they had a lot of years to work on this game and develop it. And holy crap, it's finally out. So, you know, congrats to Naughty Dog for finally getting it out. Now let's get to the nitty gritty. Um, this game, like I said, has been very controversial ever since its debut on the big screen. Back when PlayStation did pretty much its last E3, when it, all it showed was just PlayStation exclusive. It showed Death Stranding, Goes of Tsushima, it showed Last of Us Part 2, and I think there was one more game. It might be out already? I don't remember what it was though. So don't, you know, don't sue me or anything. So that's when it started though. It all started with the famous moment when two girls, Ellie kissing her friend, her girlfriend, okay? Which, okay, fine, whatever. I don't care, yeah. There's such thing as lesbians and lesbians are hot to me. Okay, sue me. Um, now if it was two guys kissing, I have a problem. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm sorry, I'm just being stupid. But I, I didn't find it as a big deal, and I'm not like this huge, like, liberal or LBGT type person, you know, like I, but you do you, right? It's, it's your own business. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. I'm not going to freaking throw rocks or tomatoes at you or get my, light out my torches. I, I got better things to do in life. Like, talk about this. <laughs> So, like I said, that's where it all started. And it was pretty much a dumpster fire all the way through, because we were seeing, oh geez, I don't know, leaks for the game. Leaks before weeks, <laughs> leaks on weeks of what this game brought. And look, I'm one of those people that try to spoil it for you guys on the internet. So, uh, you know, I was trying to get you guys. Because like I said, I don't really care too much. And a lot of people don't care about spoilers for games, which, like, if it's for a game I'm going to play, of course I'm going to care. But this game, I had no really, uh, you know, I have really no, no care in the world about it. But this is, like I said, this is crazy. So I'm going to get straight to it. People are review bombing the game. Like crazy. Like crazy. Okay. So this was posted yesterday, okay? Yesterday, and the game only had um, a few hours to come out. So... Overall, a Metacritic, we're talking about Metacritic, all right? Anything review bombing is Metacritic. A 9.5 out of 10 critical consensus, okay, from big time critics like IGN, GameSpot, Kotaku, Forbes, Polygon, all those motherfuckers. Uh, but review score at the, at the time was a 3.4 out of 10. It could easily have changed now. I, I doubt it, but 
I think it's like a 3.5 now. Ooh, big difference. Now, that's crazy. You guys are pretty jacked up that you guys already were that butthurt about the game because of certain LBGT stuff. Look, if you don't want to deal with the game, then don't play it. It's as simple as that. Don't go throwing shade and shaming the game because it has political views you don't, uh, I wouldn't say understand, that you don't agree on. It doesn't mean you should throw it shade. What if you thought it was wrong, right? What if you what if you knew objectively it was wrong? You're going to throw shade at it? You're going to downvote it or something? You're going to say that this is bad as EA Play 2020? Oh, got him. Man, those dislikes were real when that shit ended. <laughs> when that presentation was over. Oof, man, that was bad. So, now this article lists three points that I just want to point out, and we'll dive into it a little bit further. So, the game's prominent use of LGBT characters. Yes, Ellie's a lesbian. Okay, big deal. And then there, I think there is a transgender character in the game. I, I think. Or someone that's a woman that looks like a man. I Don't crucify me, guys. I'm not out to make the, you know, make the fire any bigger. So, correct me when I'm wrong, okay? Oh, you should have read the article. Shut up. Shut up. Okay? Don't be all high and mighty on your horse. Now, number two. The spoilers for the game that leaked out ahead of time where... Context-free, many people did not like the plot turns revealed. Yeah, oh boy. Hey guys, spoiler. Who would have thought that Ellie and, and uh, Joel were going to supposedly die? Who didn't see that one coming? Um, yeah, it's called fucking foreshadowing and living with consequences and choices in a fucked up world. I mean, it's very possible. You think that they weren't going to die or something or whatever you want to call it? I mean, come on, give me a break. Okay, number three. Perhaps some who have played the initial hours and don't like the game, albeit scoring a 0 out of 10 for clunky controls after a few hours seems extreme. Okay, so that's what that's the problem, okay? Like I said, how do you have this time to throw shade at, at a review for a game? Like, how do you have this much time? How are you just so triggered? You just bought the game so you can shame it? I don't get it. And then you give it a 0. Like, are you guys mental? Like, do you guys belong in a straitjacket or something? Like, did you, like, bash the keyboard with your feet on accident and it just turns out to have been that way? Like, come on, guys. You're better than that. But a lot of times the people that review these games, some of them do have proper explanations, like what I saw for the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Okay, fine. Good good arguments. There are actually people that put some time into it, into their explanation, but of course people aren't going to believe it because it's subjective, blah, 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 even though a lot of the stuff they did say was pretty objective with the story retconning itself. Anyway, that's another video for another time. So, but come on, guys. Like, three hours. Just play the whole game. I, nobody does this, I know. If you look at Steam reviews, nobody plays the entire game. They and reviews it and as a whole. They play it for, like, an hour or two, and then they just bomb it if they don't like it or something. They just, they get, they just feel some kind of way about it. It's like they get so mad. I think it's because they feel betrayed. They get emotionally attached I'm like, guys, quit adding emotions to these types of games that are inanimate objects. I get that the imagery on the screen is, is from to you, seems like it's lifelike, but you gotta separate reality from fiction, okay? You gotta understand, digital to reality, or virtual to RL, you know? And that's the problem, it's always been like that. And this is what kinda gives video games such a stale taste in my mouth, like gamers that I, like as I love being a part of the gaming community, but there's so many out there, so many of you guys out there that have such a stick up your ass is that you can't just let it go, right? You just love keeping the stick up your ass and you just can't shit it out. You just can't unplug the, the poop hole. <laughs> so, it's like if you like you wasted your money i get it that's why you wait you wait and see what everybody has to say you do your research you do your homework although it's kind of contradictory it doesn't help when people are just bullshit reviewing it after like as the article suggests you can't have beaten the game already when it's only been out for a few hours it's a 30 hour game you know 25 to 30 hours you just can't do it so the fact that that is a thing and people are just playing for a little bit and then they're just like well Time to hate, you know, haters make the game famous, by the way. So you guys, you know, all your bad press is actually good press. Like, all press is good press. So you guys are actually helping the, helping the game. Which, by the way, uh, the main head honcho and Naughty Dog was thanking you guys for giving it the most user reviews. So he's pretty smart. He didn't take it to heart because he's, you know, he knew what he was getting himself into, right? 
So he shouldn't be surprised. Like, I hate it when developers are like, I'm so surprised that people didn't like this. Shut up. Like, you fucking well knew this was going to happen. It's going to be a dumpster fire. So, um, yeah. So, 1.1 LGBT characters. Like I said, I don't mind it if it's not forced down our throat. If it's like like they're like kissing every scene and they're like saying that all like men are bad or some shit, you know, like really being sexist or whatever, right? If they're just shoehorning it in, that's when that's a problem. But if it's just in there because this is this a part of Ellie's character, whatever you want to call it, whatever character dynamics there are out there, then I'm okay with that, right? That's that's the problem is is when it's just unnaturally put in, right? It's just like, hey, take that. We have our own agendas here. Equality for all, right? Then it's just kind of annoying. Uh, the spoilers for the game, I get it. I get it. But you know what? Guess what, folks? Don't read the fucking spoilers. Ooh, problem solved. Wow. <laughs> well, Nico, I couldn't help it. It was just all over. Really? You click the article? You follow people that spoil games? Good for you. You made the right choice. So, yeah. Pretty much. And then, obviously, point three was talking about, like, you know, playing the game for a little bit and then giving it a zero out of ten or something. It, it's, it's so over the top. And you guys just need to stop, man. Like, you need to stop. You need to control your emotions. You know? You need to just, like, not let the hate flow through you. Right, Palpatine? <laughs> um, I mean, you guys just get a huge, like, crazy fix on this stuff. And it's like you're so high, and then you feel like you've just been, <laughs> like, the buzzkill of the year. And you guys lose that high, and you get so mad. You get so mad. Because you're the one that made the choice on buying the game, and you should feel stupid. You just feel mad. You're just mad because you're butt hurt that you made a dumb choice and you don't like the game and you wasted sixty dollars and you can't take it back to GameStop because they're gonna give you like two cents for it. So that's why you wait, guys. Don't go on the hype train every time. Be patient. You know, I eventually I will play this game if it comes out on PC or something. Uh, I think I think it probably will. I can see this game coming to PC one day. But anyway. So guys, that's pretty much how I feel about the situation. I'm not trying, like I said, I, I never, I'm never here to like do any virtuous signaling or any of that crap. I just try to get down to the nitty gritty and try to see what other people are seeing. And you know what, guys, if you're enjoying the game, you're having fun, and if you're dealing with these points I made that people do have a problem with, and you're doing okay with it, then good for you. You know, I'm glad. You know, the, these guys put a lot of time into this game. Okay. And I hope it shows. Like, I, you know, if I do get to the game, I hope it. I hope I have a good time. Like I said, I don't mind lesbians kissing if they're hot characters. I whatever. Let's do this. You know, like ew. You know, that's just that's just a me thing. Like, I was never bothered by lesbians kissing. Um, I was never. I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't care whoever's kissing, right? It's, like I said, as long as it's not shoehorned and forcefully put in the game to where it just completely changes the narrative and it's not even like a natural approach. You know what I'm saying? Where it's just like some political, uh, underlying political agenda there. So, for all you guys out there who have bought it, well, Naughty Dog is going to thank you either way. So, you know, you're just going to have to put up with it. Put up or shut up. Hey, send me the game. I'll play if you don't want to play anymore. If you're butthurt about it, fucking message me and shit. Hell yeah. Just don't send a bomb to my house. That'd be kind of freaky. That'd be scary. Or, uh, you know, Negan's bat with Negan in the mailbox. Anyway, I don't know how it's possible. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you think that this game was worth the wait? Did you think the review bombing is, was it justified? Do you think it's unjustified? How did you feel about all the points we listed? And are you enjoying it, right? That's all that matters. Are you enjoying it? Was it money well spent? Was it worth the wait? So you know where to find me, YouTube, Twitch, Discord, and Twitter. Check me out on those platforms. You might not like me even more on certain viewpoints that I have, but we're human beings, right? So anyway, Pathfinders, you take care out there.